how's it going everybody welcome back to tastemaker i'm excited to be jumping back into this that first episode was really chill and was exactly what i needed and what i wanted on a day when i was feeling particularly sick it is still that day and i'm still feeling particularly sick so we're gonna jump in and we're gonna see what the scenarios are about at this point there's four of them they're unlocked by getting various stars and whatnot and the first one is fast food we need to serve unhealthy food fast so i reckon i can do that uh oh wow this is actually gonna be this is gonna be a whole thing isn't it serve 200 coins worth of fries in a month we need to serve 400 coins worth of fries of, of nuggets in a month. Have a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in your restaurant. Oh, wow. Uh, so we're starting with 2,250 coins. And we have a parking lot up there. We have this whole plot of land here to work with. I, at the minute, have no idea how expensive things are. So let's start with something kind of as simple as we can manage we're not going to go too crazy on this right now we'll do just sort of a regular door i don't know that's a road that's a parking lot let's do the door there just to be a little bit different and in terms of everything else i mean i do kind of want bathrooms and i do kind of want a good kitchen space and i do think we have enough money to do that so let's have a little bit of a look here because as it stands, I mean, a toilet and a sink need to go into a bathroom. So I think a bathroom could probably be a relatively small space. So let's buy some land. And let's see if we can't maybe get a couple of bathrooms back here. And maybe a nice sort of kitchen space back here as well. So we'll do something like that. We'll go to walls. We'll do this, this, and this. And we'll do this, this as well. That'll be the entrance to the kitchen, which means this space back here can be the kitchen, which leaves us a little bit of money left. So we'll see how this goes. In terms of doors, I think a door there and a door there and a staff door can go there. This isn't really a lot of space for a restaurant right now, but we can expand it once we start making some money. Uh, in terms of windows, I mean... I think we go relatively simple. I think we do a couple of windows at the front there. And I think we do a couple of windows on the sides there. And I think that'll be okay because we're going to expand into uh, that space at some point. And in terms of decoration and all that, I mean, I do, I do want, you know, toilets and whatnot. So let's do a toilet there. And let's do a sink there. And we'll keep it simple for now. We're not going to go too crazy on it. We're just going to have the one bathroom. Uh, we're just going to have the one... Uh, let's see. We want some storage. So do some storage there. We can do a cabinet. Maybe two of them. I think we can afford two of them. We'll do a couple of cutting boards. And then we'll do... Well, we're going to need more storage. Let's be completely honest here. So let's do some storage there. And let's do a little bit more. This might be kind of risky, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll do a fridge there. We can do a dishwasher in the corner. And then what else do we need? We do need deep fryers. So let's do one deep fryer. And I think we'll leave it at that for now. So that should be okay. We'll also go for bar counters for the time being, because I think that would be pretty good for us. We can go one, two, three, and we'll do four. We'll start the way we started in the tutorial, I think. So one, two, three, four, just there. And that leaves us $55. We might have actually gone a little bit overboard here, but that's okay. Uh, and we'll do a repeating delivery of 10 things of fries, which we'll set up like so. In terms of plates, we're going to go for six of them. And that'll be fine. So I think we can manage all that if we go ahead and run things. In terms of employees, we can get you. You're not being paid yet, so that's okay. And there's no available dishes on the menu. That's because we kind of need fries to actually get delivered before we can put them on the menu. Or the potatoes to get delivered before we can put them on the menu. But I think this will be... 
this seems like it'll be a decent little start. There's the delivery of potatoes arriving. So now if we go, I think that might've been the delivery of plates actually, rather than uh, anything else. Let's have a little look here. So yeah, the potatoes are going to be arriving right about now. There they are. So now they're coming in here. We have them delivered. We can add fries to the menu. And we should have people coming along and actually wanting some fries. There we go. So we have our first customer. And Paul can go straight to work. He's, you know, making some delicious fries. We have another customer. Paul can go straight to work and start serving some fries as well. So that should keep us in a pretty good spot. We are going to be spending... Uh, Lord knows how much we're going to be spending per month, to be completely honest. We will find out, I'm sure. But uh, regardless, we're also going to need to get our hands on a broom, which I completely forgot about. I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot that we are going to want to clean this place up a little bit and make sure it's not too filthy. But regardless, is that toilet? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The toilet's disgusting. Jesus. Ugh. That's a bit rough. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm really, really not 100% sure how I feel about that at all. Uh, but sure. Let's, let's immediately go into the menu and bring the price of these guys up to $17. Just so we're making that little bit of extra cash because we really need to get our hands on an old broom here is, is what we need to be doing. Because we really need to make sure this place can get cleaned up. Hopefully a bit sooner than later. Because right now it is... Oh my god, we have so many potatoes. We uh, <laughs> we really might have overdone it, is, uh, is what we might have done here. But we'll see. We have a clean plate shortage. I think we'll be okay. Paul is going to be having a rough time at the minute. He's kind of doing everything, but we'll not worry about it. Let's get a broom into that corner. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll slow things down. We'll chill. We'll go ahead and get another employee which is Daniel. And hopefully Daniel... Oh my god almighty! Oh! Oh, that toilet's disgusting. Oh, man. That's rough, dude. That is rough, is what that is. Good lord. People are... People are disgusting. People are... are absolutely disgusting. There we go. So the toilet's being cleaned. Which is great. And reviews wise, I mean, they don't like the decoration or the lack thereof, but that's fine. They'll manage is, uh, is what they'll do. They will absolutely manage. So no worries there. We're actually looking to be pretty close. We're, we're actually pretty close to serving enough fries in a month to uh, get the easy part of this challenge done already, which is kind of great news. I have to wonder if I brought the price of them up to maybe $18, can we, can we manage that? Is that going to be something that people are receptive to or are they going to be like, yeah, man, absolutely not. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We kind of need the money. Whatever happens, we, we absolutely need the money. So, you know, the prices are going to be whatever the prices are going to be. And, you know, thinking about it, I feel like I could have moved these... I could move the bar into, like, the middle of the room, couldn't I? So if I was to put that bench there and put you there, if I was to start doing this sort of thing, right, I have to wonder if I could put some bar stools on the other side and have people sort of use the bar that way so they can be sat on both sides of it. Because if that's possible, then that's going to be pretty good for business. So let's do that. And let's see if people can actually use both sides. It looks like they can. Okay. Well, maybe. We're, I'm not 100% sure on that, but we'll see. Oh, we got the easy one done. Fantastic. Okay. And yeah, they can use both sides of it. Okay. Well, that's actually brilliant news for us. I'll tell you what's also going to be brilliant news is getting a little bit of music in here. It's, it's a little pricey. I can't afford it right now. I really can't afford it right now, but I really want to. I'm also thinking that we really should try and get ourselves a good bit of chicken going. 
Because we have this fridge that's doing nothing right now. We are probably going to want... You know, we probably do want another fryer while we're here. It's a hundred coins to uh, to get it, but I think it would be kind of useful. Because it looks to me like we're sort of sitting about with... You know, we can only we can only prepare food for two customers at any one time. So I think if we were to... You know, go ahead and hopefully we get a customer that pays us. There we go. Get another fryer. I think if we do that, we should now be able to prepare a good amount of food. Although it looks like we're only preparing two at a time. No, there we go. So we have the other fryers getting used. So that should, in theory, improve the amount of, um, the amount of food that we can put out. We can also go ahead and order in a few more plates. So we'll go up to six of those because I think that will be kind of useful. And in terms of the goals, I mean, serve 400 coins worth of fries and nuggets in a month. So yeah, that's going to be, that's, that's going to be a, well, probably not that much of a challenge to be totally honest, but you know, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Uh, what I would like to do is I would like to go to Barstool and Barstool once I can afford this one. So there we go. And now we can have eight customers in here at any one time. Which I think will be pretty good. So that should get us a good amount of money, right? And I'm kind of tempted as well to say that the fries are going to go up to 20 coins. Because I think we're making, you know, I think we've got a, we get some three-star reviews. The big complaint right now is decoration and the menu. But I think we'll manage. Alternatively, $20 fries might be putting people off. It does seem like we might be getting fewer customers than we did before. But, well... Yeah, maybe $20 fries is, is not going to be worth it. Let's bring that back down to like 17 That seems... This is a bad restaurant. The menu could be improved. Yeah, we'll bring those... We'll keep those at $17 for the fries. Hopefully that'll, you know, have people come in and actually want to uh, get the fries rather than just having you know, no customers. We might have got a little bit carried away Is uh, is what we might have done there. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go and let's order some chicken. So we'll order five chickens to come in with the uh, with the next delivery. And then hopefully we can go ahead and throw some chicken nuggets onto the menu and have a grand old time. I would still really like to get the money to get the old music in here. That would be kind of fantastic, because I'm really, really craving a bit of smooth jazz right now. I'm not going to lie. There we go. There it is. Mmm. I live for it. I'm not going to lie. I love, I love a bit of smooth jazz. I really do. It's so good. It is so good. Uh, now, I am looking at this, and I am thinking we are going to need another employee. So let's get a third employee in here. And let's see if that just speed things, uh, speeds things up a little bit. I, don't, I, I, did I, I absolutely did stumble over my words a couple of times there on a couple of different levels, but that's fine. We'll see how this goes. Uh, did the chicken get delivered? It did. So let's add it to the menu for $22. And hopefully, okay, there's a rat. There's, there's a rat. Um... That's not good. That's, 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 that's really not good. <laughs> Hello? Um, how do I deal with you? Rat trap. Okay, let's put a rat trap right there. Does it... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was, um... Wow. That was kind of violent, I'm not gonna lie. I am slightly surprised by that. Huh, that, uh, that actually kind of surprised me. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're almost at the point we can afford another deep fryer. So, as soon as someone's done with their food, we got another rat right there. As soon as someone's done, let's get another deep fryer. 
so that we can cook as many different things as possible and hopefully keep everybody happy. A long queue is forming. Okay, so that's actually good because that means that we're now going to be getting to a point where, yeah, we've done the medium part. That's kind of fantastic. So now we need, a, we need a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in the restaurant. Okay. I'm not, I'm not really going to complain about this. This is, this is kind of good. We do have a shortage of clean plates though, which I guess kind of makes a bit of sense. But I like this. This is, this is good. Let's go ahead and add another toilet. And we can get another sink as soon as we have the money for it. And that'll hopefully keep people relatively happy. They've got two toilets that they can absolutely devastate whenever they feel like it, I guess. I really don't like that they don't, they don't, I guess they don't flush it. That's, that's what I have to imagine they're doing is they just don't flush the toilet, which is absolutely, absolutely disgusting. Um, but sure, to each their own, I guess. Regardless, we are making a bit of money, and that does make me kind of happy. So, let's go ahead and let's buy some land. Because what we can do is buy this land here and slowly start expanding the restaurant. Because I think I want to get away from the bar idea, and I think I want to go more towards tables and chairs, because we might be a fast food restaurant, but we can have a little bit of class, you know? So I think that would be kind of nice. And obviously, potentially more employees as well, because as it stands right now, we're definitely struggling a little bit on the front of uh, keeping the place clean. Although maybe that just requires a good broom or a vacuum. It could, it could be a case of getting a vacuum as well. And thinking about it, we could have an upper floor too, if we really wanted to. I don't want to, but we could if we did want to, I guess. Uh, I'll tell you what though. Let's go ahead and buy this land, because I think we've got about enough to afford all of that, which is good. And then in terms of walls, we'll do... Oh, I can't afford it. Okay. Yeah, it's 80... Oh, wow. 84 for that wall. So we're going to have to save up a little bit, is what we're going to have to do here. And then eventually get rid of that wall and do all that good stuff. But that's okay. We have the land. Oh, wow. The fridges are full, too. Oh, boy. We... I was thinking this kitchen would be big enough. It's absolutely not going to be. So I think the kitchen's going to have to be expanded over this way. And then this is all just going to be restaurant space. Which is fine. I, I think we'll be okay. I don't think there's... Uh... Man, those rats running about. That's, that's really going to be putting people off. As well as the fact that there's no decoration too. Should we... Get some curtains? I mean, I, I guess they do make the place a little bit nicer, huh? So a couple of curtains, you know, there and there. Some curtains maybe here as well once we can afford it, which is not going to be right now. It is going to be right now, though. So that'll brighten the place up a bit. The music might brighten the place up a little bit. Hopefully, I don't know, something else brightens the place up a little bit at some point. Can you guys finish your food already? so that I can put up some new curtains. There we go. So let's have a look at the decor overlay then. So it's... It's getting there. Uh, hygiene is... Eh, questionable, I suppose. It's definitely bad in the bathroom, but that's okay. And I guess my hope at this point is with the bit of extra decor, with the curtains and whatnot, people are going to chill and maybe like the restaurant a little bit more. There we go. Four stars for the first time as well. So that's, I would imagine, going to attract more people and potentially let us increase the prices a little bit. Andy is complaining about the high workload. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's grab another employee and we'll see if the four of them can manage this place in a reasonable amount of time. We actually have a good queue forming outside as well. So I'll tell you what, let's start getting these walls going. So a nice wall there and a nice wall there. And yeah, people are getting in and out of here pretty quickly, which is 
good. That's actually very good for us. So the, you know, the quicker they leave, the quicker I can build this wall. So there we go. We have a nice little expansion there. And what I can do is just tear down this wall. Gives me a little bit of money back. And we're going to want more windows because I think windows are going to be pretty good looking for this place. So a couple of windows there. We'll do a couple of windows. I wish I could shift click to uh, place multiple of these, but whatever. That's fine. A couple of windows there. And now I guess we just do some tables. And I think we're going to move this into the corner back there. Wow. You actually, you can barely hear the music when you're not next to it. That's, I'm sure this person's deafened by it, but that's okay. I mean, it's not for them, but I don't care. Um, so that old table is minus 15 in decor. That one's plus 10. That one's 25. I think we're going to go with the plus 10. I don't like these tables, but we are a fast food restaurant. You know? I don't think we can be too picky. So what if we were to do... Hmm. We could... I mean, the bar... The bar... The bar system is really efficient. It is annoyingly efficient. Um... Let's do one, two... And then in terms of chairs, I mean, this one is zero. This one is plus five in terms of decor. And we are, again, a fast food restaurant. So <sighs> let's do one and two. And that'll let a couple of people in there. And I mean, the queue. Oh, wow. The queue is getting really bad. Okay. That's fine, though. That's that's okay. That is that is okay. We can get another seat there. And we're going to just sort of try and get this one. And then we're going to have to look at expanding the... Uh, we're going to have to look at expanding the kitchen, I think. Because as it stands right now, the kitchen definitely needs it. The kitchen... Uh, yeah, I think the kitchen really does need a good bit of expansion. And we're back down to three stars. Man. <sighs> okay. That's fine. That is... Totally fine. Uh, I'll tell you what. How many how many plates do we have? So we have 12 clean plates. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we are going to need more plates. Let's go ahead and we can only store 14. Ooh. So yeah, we do need to expand the kitchen a little bit. Okay. Let's just go ahead and buy as much of this land as we can. Because that'll let me get a little bit of a kitchen expansion. Nothing too crazy, but a little something, something there. And then, yeah, I think at this point we just want walls. So a wall there and a wall, I apparently can't afford it, uh, a wall right there. With this one getting demolished, which gives me a bit of money back. And then I guess, so storage is, is full, right? I have to wonder, do we need more fridges or what do we need? So, I, I don't know how much a fridge can actually actually store. I've got no idea. But I guess we'll figure that out. I'll tell you what I will do. I want to get this broom. I absolutely want to get this broom because as it stands, this place is just getting filthier and filthier. And I think a broom might just help with that a little bit. You know, I think I think that might be a pretty worthwhile investment. It's certainly not going to make the place look any better, but it's not going to make it look any worse either. So let's go ahead and if someone would pay us, there we go, we can get a broom right there. And I would imagine that's going to be quicker for cleaning than the old uh, the old broom that we have. So that's okay. How are we doing in terms of challenges? So, yeah, we have done both, which means we have actually unlocked the uh, second scenario, which is lovely. We just need a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in the restaurant. So, yeah, I, I mean, we can we can certainly get there. It's just going to just going to take a minute is what it's going to do. I'll tell you what. Let's move this and let's go ahead and just try and expand the kitchen a little bit with another. Um, let's do a couple of dishwashers there. 
So we'll do them down there. Uh, we could probably get another one. And we're going to want more cabinets as well. But what I think I also kind of want to do is I want to put the fryers over in that space. And I might actually just completely change the layout of this place a little bit. Um, so let's grab this counter, which is apparently in use. So we're not going to be grabbing that counter. We'll grab this one and we'll put it there. We'll grab this one and we'll put it there. We're going to grab you and put you there. We're going to grab you and put you there. And fridges can go there. We can get another uh, cabinet and put it there with another cutting board because I think that'll be kind of useful. Um, in fact, if we were to grab you and put you there, let me, um, let me pause while I do this. So move you for a second, uh, move this counter to there, move this counter to there, move this counter to it's in use. So I can't do that. Huh? Okay. Move that fridge to that spot. And then, hmm. I was hoping I could come up with a really good layout for all of this, but I don't think I can. Let's just keep you there. Let's let the game just sort of run for a second because I need to move this counter to that space. I basically want to put all of my storage back there is, is what I want to do. So I think what we'll end up doing is having the... We'll have a line of fridges back here. And then a little bit of additional storage here, which honestly we could probably get rid of. So that's probably going to be pretty good for us. Uh, so we have the three dishwashing machines here. We have the three deep fryers there. Those are all we really need, by the way, is those deep fryers. So I think, you know, if we could get a few more of those, that would be kind of useful for us. So we'll speed things up a little bit. And good lord, this place is filthy. Wow. I think we're going to need more employees. I'm not going to lie. I think, uh, I think a couple of employees just almost dedicated to cleaning would be an idea because we're down to one star in some places. That's a bit rough. That is a little bit rough is what that is. So maybe even another employee? Let's grab you. What is this button? Oh, hello. That's actually going to be super useful for us. Uh, so can I fire you? So we'll fire you. And what we'll do is say, let's see. So I want Andy to only do, oh, I like that. So that's neutral priorities. That's pretty cool. Okay. I want Max to prioritize dishwashing and cleaning. I want Oliver to prioritize serving. And then I want you guys to prioritize cooking. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see if that works out. Because now that we have someone almost dedicated to cleaning, I mean, the place is looking a little bit cleaner, you know? So that's that's going to be pretty good for us. Uh, let's go ahead and slow things down a little bit, though. Because I want to grab another fridge is what I want to do. I want to get another fridge in there. And now that, now that we've prioritized things, we should see people come back. I would imagine, now that the place is a bit cleaner. There should be far fewer complaints. And I think we can probably go ahead and get, you know, a nice chair for there. And I think we could probably go ahead and get another nice chair for here. And then here as well when we have the money. And I think that will be pretty good. The place is certainly cleaner than it has been for a minute. So hopefully... Hopefully those cubes are going to come back. We do still have a clean plate shortage, though. So let's go ahead and just order... You know, we can have 21 of them, so we'll have 21 plates, and I think that'll be good. And this is going pretty well, to be honest. It's going so well, in fact, that I think it's probably about time to go ahead and put a bit of a cut into the video right there. Because... I didn't realize we had priorities that we could play with. But that does make me very happy, is, is what it does. And in fact, I'll tell you what, let's have Oliver also prioritize cleaning. 
so that we can really make sure that this place is nice and, well, clean. And we are still getting some complaints about workload. So let's go ahead and just get another employee and see if that helps everybody relax a little bit. But yeah, I think now is probably a pretty good time to go ahead and put a bit of a cut into the video. I think we're doing a pretty good job of serving everybody thus far. We have room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 16. So one more of these tables and we can, guests are stuck where? Oh, I see. Okay, so we don't want to do that. That's, that's, okay. So let's get rid of you. That lets those guys get out of there. That's a little awkward, is, uh, is what that is. That is a little bit awkward, but that's okay. I think what we can end up doing is maybe just pushing these tables against the walls or something. So they're going to be three seaters rather than uh, four. Or we could potentially stagger them, but I don't know if that'll work either. Regardless, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is... Wait, is someone else stuck right now? I don't think anyone is. Uh, yeah, I think what we can go ahead and do is put another cut in, like I said. And we'll see how things end up going is what we'll do actually just really quickly i just want to do this i just want to move these around before anyone else goes and sits down at them uh just so that we don't have that issue again so sell you oh, you had to go and sit down didn't you you had to go and sit down i see how it is that's fine all right so yeah we'll just have this kind of thing going on it honestly probably would have made so much more wait what are we short on chicken Oh, God. Okay, so we need more chicken. Right. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and put a bit of a cut into the video right about there. So, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. I am really enjoying this so much more than I have any right to. It's really chill, and I, uh, like I said, I really appreciate just a really chill game right now. So, thanks for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.